Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 8 of my Newcastle United FIFA 14 career mode. And right here, Czech Teote, he wants to speak with me. He's got this big-ass paragraph. He wants to tell me something, so let's see. He says, yes, I am unsettled at the moment, boss. I can't deny that. I want to make sure everything is open to between us and that you know exactly what is going on. I'm trying to sort my head out, but it's not easy when home is so far away, you know. I haven't said anything to my agents uh, because I want to concentrate on training hard and seeing what happens. The most important thing to me is that I continue to do a good job for you and the team. So that's a perfect reaction, if I'm honest. For a player that wants to leave, he still wants to do the best for the club, work harder. You can't ask for more than him. So I'm happy when players come to me like that uh, and check. Definitely, I'm going to put him in the team uh, when he's available for selection. And what's here? Do I regret they're talking about my sale of Colaccini. It says Newcastle United were left with a tough task ahead of them uh, after the loss of Colaccini. Uh, manager, footy manager TV's choice of using Taylor in the centre back role was topic for debate. However, uh, the player's latest string of mediocre performances leaves the fans wanting a higher caliber of player. I think we deserve to have a top quality player come in and fill the role properly, stated one angered fan. So, yeah, someone's getting a bit mad about that. But the thing is, he's not even playing heaps. Steven Taylor's not been the main centre-back, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, he's been... He actually came to me saying he wanted to play more. That's why I thought that was weird, uh, just while reading that. He's not even been in the first team. He's not. He's in the reserves. He doesn't even make the substitute bench. Uh, we've got our two starting centre-backs, Manuel, who's been great for me. That's why he's the captain. I feel he's really leader for the team, just joining as well this season. Uh, Yanga and Biwa is decent. So two pretty good centre-backs there, 77 rated. And then we sign Santa Croce, who's lower rated than uh, Steven Taylor, but he's a better player, even though I don't think I've used him yet. He's got 86 jumping, so he's good in the air, and he's quick as well. So I'm not sure what lot more you need in a centre back. I'd probably try and sell Taylor in January, but we'll see how it goes nonetheless as we have a game against Sunderland. Uh, recent results haven't been the best, but I believe I have performed well. Like the last game, I think it was a draw against Liverpool. Like you'd take that being Newcastle, even though we had opportunities to win. Uh, but as you can see, we're sitting in a 10th position and Sunderland next, you think we should be able to win this game. And with the teams on top of us, and look at this, Man City is actually below me, so I'm doing pretty good. And you'll imagine West Ham, who's surprisingly sitting in second, they'll drop, uh, but they've played really well. Yeah, but you would see like teams like that, West Ham, Aston Villa, Sunderland, Fulham, who are all on top of us. You would imagine all of those kind of teams will drop over a course of the season, so we'll see how that goes. And yeah, we'll continue in, and I'll probably drop it down. Now, I'm probably going to only do two games per episode, because I felt the episodes were too long. And yeah, I want to shorten down the episode size. I think 30 minutes for FIFA career mode videos are a bit too long uh, compared to the general size of other people who do career modes. So I'll try and uh, tone that down a little bit as we go into a game against Sunderland. Huge game here. Huge game, Sunderland. It's important to win this game for the fans as well. So we'll see who's available for selection. Basically, everybody is. So that's all good. And yeah, Tiotto, he's out of the team. Uh, but I believe I'll bring him in, I think. I'll take out Bigiri Mana, obviously, Teote is a bit... And he's actually playing well, Teote. I'll take out Anita. They're the perfect mixture. You know, Sissoko with his high attacking work rate and Teote, they both play their role for the team. Sissoko gets forward and scores or assists. And Teote plays, uh, Teote, sorry, plays a very good defensive game. So I'm really happy about the majority of my team. See, a lot of my players are on good form. I don't have many players that's on bad form. That's really a good sign. So we'll go into the game here, try and get a win. Uh, we're doing okay so far early in this game. Debushi, uh, passing is good. Cissé, play it through. Oh, this is great. Gufran, why did I shoot from there? That's why. <laughs> that's why. And that's another thing as well. I don't know why. Well, obviously, because I'm doing a live commentary. I hold onto the ball a bit more because I'm talking. I just maybe pass it a bit more instead of rush forward. So maybe it's a, a blessing in disguise, one of those things. As you can see, fans getting... Very happy about that, see? I took the shot there. Maybe, like I talked about, you could probably tell by my commentary, like, I didn't probably want to shoot there. I probably wanted to cross or something, but I ended up taking the shot under pressure, and then it led to a goal. And once again, uh, we're in the lead, but hopefully we can hold on to it. 
And I'll probably want to score more than one goal. But yeah, again, it's a great start. Puppy C, so he's definitely making up for the loss of Remy, who did pick up that three-month injury. So probably now I would imagine he'll be two months away uh, from this point. Uh, but again, it's good to score this early goal. Adam Johnson on the ball. Like I said earlier, I have to be careful of him. Really like him as a winger. Got pace, dribbling ability. Oh, go Cissé. Do it again. See, the only thing about Papi Cissé, he lacks that bit of pace uh, to break away from the centre-backs. Ben Arthur, use your skill. Ooh, close. Oh, no, they're through. Dive. But yeah, this second half is definitely going to be a different proposition with Josie Altador because, of course, he's a physical striker with his strength, a big body as well, a different presence than Stephen Fletcher. So you can see here, look at his strength. He can hold up the ball well. Here he is again, but again, it's a good tackle. That time, Debushi. Oh, but defense is strong. Look, Sissoko. Make one of those runs forward. He can use the pace. Maybe he should be striker. Sissoko, finish it. Oh, that would have been a goal of the season. That would have been goal of the season. <laughs> just running all the way, intercept from defense, and just went on that run. That was really good. Well, 59th minute already. Probably time to make subs. Yeah, time to make subs there. Sorry if you heard my control. I just hit it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, time to make subs here. Who should I bring on? Calvin? Yeah, he's a good talent. I'll bring him on instead of... Yeah, or, yeah I'll bring him on for Gufran. Uh, anyone else? Luke De Jong. I probably want to give him a chance. You think I should? But Cissé has been on great form. I just want to leave it for now. Uh, Miachi. Actually, I'm going to bring on Miachi for Ramirez and put Ben Arthur as a central attacking midfielder. And then, yeah, Miachi and Calvin... Uh, both really pacey players. For me, Ben Arthur's not really pacey. He's got good agility, but his sprint speed isn't the highest. So yeah, he's probably better centrally. And some, hopefully play through ball or something, maybe create a goal. But bring on some pace, especially with Miachi. I think he's an okay signing. Like He's a really good impact off the substitutes bench. As you can see coming on now, uh, that's Calvin. This has to be a three point. This has been a really good game uh, we've played. But we need to get the points here. We need to finish our good work off, maybe with another goal to ensure the win. Now. Oh, it could be a great ball. Oh. I've played really good in this game. I haven't really looked like conceding a goal at all. That's why I feel we need to finish our chance. Ben Arthur. Oh, look at that. Oh. Sit back and relax, mates. Look at that. Sealed it. Did exactly what I wanted to do and what I deserved as well. And that's the skill of Ben Arthur. <laughs> How amazing was that? It might be hard to keep him if he keeps playing really, really well. Look at that. The skill. Simple skill, really. But then the finish on the finesse on his preferred left side. So bring him into that central attacking midfielder position. Uh, that Yeah, that told. So I know a lot of people say, like, you don't feel like a manager, but that was a great managerial move, in my view. Moving him to the central attacking midfielder position, he wouldn't be in that position from the wing. So, yeah, that was a great move on my part, if I'm honest. Like, yeah, I'm happy about that, and he scores his first goal uh, in the league. Maybe we should play him there more, but of course we have Gaston Ramirez, so he probably could have done the same. He's got skills and finesse shot. So you can see here, I'm just looking to make a final sub you know, I made two already just to hold on to the result. We'll see who needs to be desperately sub. Might as well go with Papi Cissé. As I said, I do want to give Luke De Jong a chance. Even though he's only on loan, you've got to give players chances uh, to keep them happy because who knows, we'll get another injury. But please not. Oh, good save, Cruel. I wasn't expecting him to get to that, honestly. I was expecting to concede that. Play it through. Go Sissoko, use your strength. Oh, look at that. He lost control of it, though, but Debushi plays it through. Ben Arthur, can he do it again? Oh, he almost got past. We might not even be able to make the sub the way we're going here. Go, Calvin. Oh, another guy with skills couldn't get past. 
Please, I just want to make this up. Clear it. What was that? Kick it out, please. <laughs> the subs weren't even made. Or, yeah, the final sub I was going for. But who cares? I win 2 0. Great result. Great result. 2 0. Hopefully, we can go on a winning run now. And very important early goal there from Cisse for us. It was a tight game, I guess, in terms of shots on target. Uh, we dominated possession early. It was in the 60s, and now to, uh, they pushed down a bit in the second half, but Papi Cisse had a great game. So here, as you know, in one of the previous episodes, I got gifted Scouter Future Star, and yeah, the lad has came to the team, and he looks really good according to our scout. Uh, he's Portuguese. You can see here, Eduard Gutierrez, I think he's pronounced. It's good to get a good central midfielder. His strengths are ball control, acceleration, short passing, dribbling, and curve. Uh, to go along with Lewis Gherkin, who I've scouted, uh, searching in England, of course. He could be a similar player, but yeah, uh, Edward Gutierrez. Uh, he looks really good. Minimum potential of 79. Wow. And of course, Gherkin is minimum potential of 72. So yeah, some decent guys in the team there. But of course, you can see that Edward uh, Gutierrez is more of a higher quality player. They're both 16 as well. Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, do you think this guy could be good? But of course, it's best to waste to May uh, so he can get his boost in his potential or yeah, boost in his rating for the year. And that's the best time to sign them up. As I know, people always tell me, even though I knew that already. But yeah, uh, that's the best. If you didn't know that as well, that's like one big, like one big tip I want to showcase how you can get these amazing uh, scouted players, young players, when you get them in May. And you, you get them at a really good potential and a good rating as well. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to showcase that a bit later in this series. So here we've got our monthly scouting update. You know, I just got that good scouted player. Uh, from the gift that someone gifted me as well. So it was fantastic. And now we'll see who he gets uh, for our English players this month. Uh, there's Clive Jamison. He looks okay, but yeah, when you have that minimum potential is 65, like mid-60s, and the maximum potential is not even in the, in the 90s. I like it to be in the 90s at least, but I always search for a minimum potential at least to be maybe a 68. But yeah, we'll see. But I like it to be above 70. So I'll, oh no, I'm going to leave him there for one more month. I'll just do continue scouting. And then Hogan Horsley, or Horn C, sorry, uh, who's been there for two months now. See that minute, that high potential, it's 68, or 69, sorry. Yeah, 69, 87. I don't know, it's, it's almost there. It's almost there, but just not quite. But I'll still leave it there for now. Liam, uh, Noah, not that great. He's definitely going to be rejected. And then, look at this talent right here, Zach Swain. I liked his name as well, Zach Swain. He sounds like a good player, and he's got that good potential. These are the players I'm looking for to sign up right away. When the minimum potential is in the 70s, and the high potential is like at the highest point, 94 maximum, it can't be higher than that when you get him straight away here. So, that's fantastic. He's going to be signed up right away. 16 as well, so he could be offered a contract this season. Uh, but the other two, I'll keep scouting. And also, the Newcastle United board have come to me, and they want to talk about recent results. So let's see what they have to say after I won against Sunderland. It says, Footy Manager TV, it seems as if the team's results have gone a bit sour, and we, the board, would like to suggest you to make some changes and find a solution to the club's recent slump, even though I just won the important game. Uh, fan sentiment is important, and it seems you may be losing support amongst them, even though I just won an important game against Sunderland. Uh, please take time to make meaningful changes to turn the team around. We do not wish to have this conversation again, so I'm already under pressure, even though I'm doing all right, I reckon. But next game against Chelsea, oh, this is a bad situation. When you get that warning message, I don't know if it's a warning message or something, but whatever kind of message it is, then you have a hard game that's going to be hard to win. Yeah, it makes it tough. But, like, we're sitting in a seventh position. I don't see the point of getting a warning message. Like, I'm thinking I'm doing the best I can uh, with Newcastle, with my expectations. But definitely, I could be scoring more goals. I've scored seven and conceded six. The bright side is I'm not conceding many goals. I've conceded the same as Manchester United, who's first, same as Chelsea, who's second. So at that part of the game, I'm doing really well. But if I could score more, yeah, we could really push into that top four, I believe. 
So here we are. We've got a home match against Chelsea. We'll go in, select the team, and hopefully uh, put in a good performance. I'm going in not really expecting to win it, even though it's a home game. It's against Chelsea. You can't really, being Newcastle against Chelsea, you can't be expecting to win this kind of game with the players they have. Uh, but you always want to win games. Uh, that is the situation. So Tiote is going to, again, make the way in. I'll probably have to fix that in the squad settings a bit later, but um, put him in then so I don't have to keep putting him in and dropping Anita out before every single game. But, yeah, he's played well. Cissé has played well as well. How long is... I know, yeah, it's probably about two months, like I said before, on Remy. And I'll leave him out for now. But, yeah, the team is at full fitness. So let's go in and hopefully get a result. Oh, good tackling as well, Ramirez. He's going to run now. Oh, there's a player on. This has to be a goal. Ben Arthur, smash it. Oh, finish it. Oh, it's going to go in. I mishit it, but it's going to go in, and it did. We score against Chelsea. Fantastic start here. Ben Arthur, he smashed it at the keeper, and then it fell to Cissé, I believe, and he scores once again. What a goal. Ben Arthur creating that. I guess you can call it creating it. And look at that nice little cute finish. I didn't mean it, but nonetheless, it finds a way to the back of the net. And yeah, it was Cissé there. Nice little cute little lob. I'm not sure if anyone else is the same, but when you're in that situation, when the ball rushes to you quickly, do you sometimes lob when you're not meant to? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes that happens when the ball comes to you quickly. But yeah, who cares? We score. I think it's because like you're trying to change player or something. I don't know, but... We score, and CC scored his fourth in the league. Go, Ben Arthur. He needs something special to get past. Oh, he does. Can he do it again, though? Oh, he does again. Finish. Not all. I thought it was going to go over. So, Ben Arthur, once again, making a huge impact. How good is this lad, Ben Arthur? I've always liked him as a player, and he's really performing well for me. And you can see that audacious shot there. I think that was from CC once again. Cissé and Ben Arthur being really good. Really, really good. Again, I bring in Gaston. Try a different one here. Just hit it at the pack. Hit it at the pack. Ben Arthur, try something. Oh, look at that skills. Could we win it back here? No, he just boots it forward. Oh, no, that's going to be good in the end. Oh, no, they have a man. No way. How do they get in that situation? No, there's another player. Save it. Oh, Cruel again. Gets his big juke out to save it. Wow. He saved us. Oh, Debushi hit one, son. He does. And it's on target. You can see the time just slowly wasting there. So well done, Debushi. I might do the same. Cissé had a decent corner first attempt. So let's try it again. Oh, there's a chance. It's a goal. There's the seal. There it is. The game is sealed and we've got the points. Uh, unless some disaster happens right there. What a header. I'm not sure who that was from, actually, but what a goal. May have been Yange and Biwa. We'll have to see after the goal is scored. Can we see there? Oh, it's Manuel. They look the same, him and Yange and Biwa, but uh, what an effort for Manuel, the captain of the side. I knew a reason I put him captain, and he shows his leadership there, making sure we win here. Massive effort from him. You can see shown after the goal. His first goal for us in the league. First league goal for Newcastle United. Welcome to the club, Manuel. Just defend for the rest of the game and we've got it. A win against Chelsea. Absolutely huge. We've got to be careful here though. Please don't concede. Look at that strong defending. Oh no, mistake. Oh, good tackle. That was Anita, I think. No, don't score. I knew it. One way or another, they would have scored a goal. And Fernando Torres. Well, he did come up and score, actually. I said he wouldn't. But here, with the 88th minute, you can sm you can either be dumb or be smart here. What I'll do is just... You can easily just pass and waste out the minutes here. We should have it. We shouldn't lose it from here. Just keep possession... Hopefully a low amount of... Oh, it's plus three. Debushi. Oh, how do we... How did he touch it? How was that first touch? Nah, if, if they could score here, no way. Yeah, poor cross there. Oh, no. How's that a corner? What? 
Please don't score from this. Defend, please. No. Oh. We got it. We got it. No, I'm not going to pass it. Let's just hit it long to the striker. Cissé, please win this. It's over anyway. Come on. Whew. Close at the end there, wasn't it? You can see there Eto with that early trick, but look at that. Good effort from the keeper. And that was a good goal by us there. If it's a good win. It was really a balanced game. Pretty even. Both had three shots on target, but we did well to finish our chances. Amazing results here. And this result after the board came to us saying we need to improve our results. But in this episode, I've won both games. Fantastic stuff. I'm really happy about that. And all here is just reports. Don't worry about them. What you want to see. We're still actually in seventh. We're not budging right now. But we should be closer and we're pushing ourselves away. Look, we're three points away from Swansea, who are just below us. So that's a positive sign. And yeah, we need to keep winning our games. You can see Chelsea there in a second position. Even after that win, we're still five points behind them. So, uh, But don't forget, our expectations is to come in Europa League. I think you have to finish at least six. Is it six? Is it fifth and six? I think it is. I just can't get confused because that fifth position there is highlighted. Like in my head, I just think it's just that fifth position because of that. But yeah, leave your thoughts what it is in FIFA. I have no idea, honestly, because usually if I'm a big team, I finish in the top four anyway. Or if I'm a lower team, I don't get that high enough. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, drop a like on this video, and I'll see you guys next time.